Hello, this is Dominic Holden with tbonesbaseball.com. I'm here with Johnny Kane from KMBC Channel 9. And Johnny, welcome to Community America. Um, Thank you. And let's just start out, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I uh, worked here for two years and nine months in Kansas City. Before that, I worked in uh, Topeka for five and a half years. And every night when I got ready to do the broadcast, at about five minutes before I went on air, I got a call from the T-Bones with an updated score. <laughs> And so somebody would say, the T-Bones are leading. And I'd say, well, thank you. And I'd get it in my broadcast. So <laughs> well, we appreciate that. Um, how did you get involved with sports? Um, you know, I think like a lot of people, you start playing at a young age, and then and you, that fire burns within, and then you want to compete. And then you want to compete at a high level, and then the colleges say, well, you're not good enough to compete at this level. <laughs> I know how you feel. <laughs> right? So then you say, well, I like to write. I had a passion for writing, and uh, so I started out writing, and then uh, I took some classes at Ohio University in the radio and then in television broadcasting, and I thought, man, what a neat job to be able to be the eyes and ears for everybody else and to go to games for a living and talk about games yeah, for a living. absolutely. Um, what would you say, what are your favorite teams in sports? Well, I, I'm a little bit across the, the map here. So my family grew up on the south side of Chicago, yet they're Chicago Cubs fans. So I like the Cubs in baseball, and certainly over the last eight years I've become a Royals fan. I uh, grew up a diehard San Francisco 49ers fan in football, but certainly now obviously like the Chiefs <laughs> a little bit. Uh, in hockey, I like the Chicago Blackhawks. And uh, when it comes to college sports, I'm a big Ohio State fan. All right. So I'm kind of across the board. Hey. Everybody always asks me, how can you be so spread out? <laughs> so don't judge. It's all right. Um, you were. You said you were raised. Um, not for. You're not from Kansas City. How do you like Kansas City? How have you adjusted to it? Oh, I love it. I love it a lot. Like I said, when when I moved, uh, when I first left school, I went to uh, Kentucky. I worked there for two and a half years, and then I went to. Uh, I took a job in Topeka, Kansas. And so, when I told my family I was heading to Kansas, they said, "What for?" I said, "Well, <laughs> for a job." And so anyway, so I took the job there, and then uh, five and a half years covering the same teams we cover here in Kansas City, and so. Once I got here, I love it. People are great, Midwestern values. Uh, I mean, you know, there's not, not much more that can be said. And you threw out the first pitch at tonight's game. Um, have you ever done that before? No, that was, uh, I, was I was telling Matt, that's a life bucket list. Uh, I was nervous about it a little bit because you want to make sure you get it there. And uh, the catcher wasn't able to field it cleanly, but I, I think I've, I kind of painted that corner low and away. I, they, I think they would have chased generous watching it from the Yeah, box. I think so. <laughs> it's a cutter. Yeah. Absolutely. Did you warm up before at all? No, I didn't. No, I sweating cold. I, I was running late. I almost didn't make it to the ballpark in time. So anyway, I, I took a deep breath, walked down that hill, and uh, much more appreciation for the guys yeah. that do it for a living. And you're about to sing Take Me Out to the Ball Game yes. in the seventh inning. Um, are you a singer? Have you ever done anything oh. like this before? No, I'm more nervous about this part of the thing. But uh, anyway, since, since I'm a fan of the sport, I didn't have to rehearse the, the lines. I think we've got that part down. It's just a matter of trying to carry a tune and not being yep. too monotone. Absolutely, and we're a little biased here because we're here every day, but as somebody that's not here every day but is from the area, what do you like best about the T-Bones? Well, I think the, the, the atmosphere at, at, at parks like this, it reminds I'm a big horse racing fan too, so you go to Churchill Downs and you see all the pomp and circumstance and all that, mm -hmm. an hour away is a Keeneland race course, and it's a family-friendly environment, it's affordable to get in, and you get to get up close and personal. That's what I feel like this place is about, right? So whether or not you want to take it all the way down and pay for a bunch of parking and, yeah. and catch the Royals, which is great. But when you can come here and watch professional baseball, uh, I just think it's a great family atmosphere. And, and I've heard Thursdays are really a good night to be here <laughs> if you're of age. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you for your time here. He is Johnny Kane from KMBC, and I'm Dominic Holden with T-BonesBaseball.com. Thank you for watching.